When an earthquake occurs along a fault line or plate boundary, the focus is the point where this energy is released. This energy comes in the form of seismic waves. They're going to shake the ground and cause destruction. Now, these waves come in two main types, the body waves and surface waves. The body waves go through the Earth's interior, through different layers and different densities of rock and liquid, and the surface waves just go through the surface. The two body waves are the P wave and the S wave. The two surface waves are the L and the R, and they are different because of the way they propagate and have different characteristics based on their velocities. But all four of these seismic waves are released during every earthquake regardless of the earthquake's size or the earthquake's damage it may create. The first wave is the P wave, stands for primary first, which is a body wave. It goes through all the layers of the Earth, both the outer core and inner core. It goes through liquids and solids at different densities, but it does change speed based on the density. Now, the higher the density, the faster the P wave moves. Now, the P wave ranges between 6 to 8 kilometers per second in its velocity, and moves in a linear or compressional propagation. The S wave, the other body wave, this goes through the majority of the Earth's interior. It stands for secondary because it comes in second. It's not as fast as a P wave, moving between four to six kilometers per second. And it moves like a snake does, side to side, transverse, at perpendicular angles to the direction of the energy, the propagation. And this does not go through the outer core because the outer core is liquid and it cannot pass along the energy between the molecules because they're too spaced out in a liquid. So the S wave dies when it hits the outer core. Then we have the two surface waves. The L stands for love and the R stands for Rayleigh. These two are special because they cause majority of the damage because it's focused and concentrated along the surface where things are built. And they also move together through the surface concurrently, moving at the same speed between two to four kilometers per second. Second, the L wave is more side to side and the R wave is in orbital propagation, so big circles. So together they can really move the ground and cause a lot of the damage.